Hello, boys and girls. I'm uh, <laughs> I'm busy today, I guess. A um, couple of things. First of all, and I apologize for this. As I always say, I'm an old man. I never know what's going on. Uh, but apparently, uh, now in Character Creator Four, you can run Python scripts. So that video I made yesterday about uh, running my script inside of iClone and taking the character inside of Character Creator, transfer it over to iClone, doing it there, and then transfer it back. You don't have to do that. You can just do it all inside of iClone, which takes a couple extra steps out of the way, makes it a lot faster. So I'm just going to show you. I have a character right here. I brought up the council log. Always a good idea to bring up the council log. You can do that here and bring up council log. So it's always good to do that, see what's going on. Load Python. I have a new version of my script. You definitely want to be using the very latest version. And I'll always, wherever the links for the versions are, I will try to update the version. But I'll put the updated version link here as well. But right now, it's 1.2. I found some major issues. So uh, you definitely want to be using always the latest version. So I open up that one. And then this is, I've shown you this uh, in my previous video yesterday. This is just a duff file that has different colors that I saved out from uh, from Daz. I just went ahead and changed the colors, put different colors on this uniform, and then I saved it just as a DUF file. And you don't have to import, you don't have to use transformer. All you have to do is read that DUF file, and it will go ahead and bring in all those textures. So, uh, so you can do it all inside a character creator, which really makes it a ton faster. Now, you still might want it inside of iClone, because there you can do large-scale sets and props and things, so and that will work inside of there. But it works either way, so so there you go. So it has all the maps, and we've shown you this. We showed you this yesterday, but it brings in all the maps on there. The other thing I did with this version, the previous versions, uh, particularly in iClone, I've wanted to reduce the size of the maps from 1K to 4K. Uh, right at the moment, I've commented out that section. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that, but it doesn't work good on... Uh, clothing maps to reduce them down. I had some issues with them not matching up. So right for now, and of course you don't, inside a character creator, you really don't need to do that because we have all kinds of tools like the LOD and, and uh, even just saving in the avatar. When you go out and export the avatar, you can save the size of the maps that you want. So uh, so you can do all kinds of things that we don't need to do uh, in, in iClone that we need to do for sets and things. So for the moment... For the moment, I've turned off the ability to uh, reduce the size of your maps. And I might just write a separate routine for that, uh, just for, particularly for sets. Uh, I'm still looking for a way to, uh, to link the textures automatically. As you know, I, I, one thing I wanted to mention, too, is there's a button up here. Again, I didn't realize we had just one button to do that. So that's a good idea to do that, because then it links all the textures, and that way you just save a lot of space. So they're all linked that way. So anyway... Um, this is how you, this is the way, as they say. So this, and in the next week or two, uh, keep an eye on versions because as I get feedback from people, I just got feedback yesterday from Mr. G. He helped me uh, fix a problem which I didn't think I had, but apparently I did. Um, so um, that's what will happen. The, the thing will get improving and keep changing. And once again, as I always say to you, boys and girls, if there's a any kind of DAZ import that's failing for you, please let me know. You can write me at mike at kellytown.com, K-E-L-L-E-Y, kellytown.com, and I will always answer you. So uh, I guess I will see you around the forums.